Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to do this quick video because there was one of these epic moments at Speaker's Corner that is quite rare these days, where there was an actual debate, which is in itself rare, especially with the Dara team. But not only that, it, it brought to light just some hilarious moments where it was clear that the Dara teams could not understand what was going on or how to deal with something. So they end up just, well, uh, let's watch. So then, then Ubey disagreed, so Muhammad punched him in the, in the belly. He and, didn't and punch he, he him. No, 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 he don't say him. punch him. He punched him don't so say hard, punch him. the Hadith says, he punched him so hard that Ubey said he saw Allah. No, wait, 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 wait. That's a hard ass no, punch. No, 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 no. Right? He did not punch Falcon him. Falcon punch. And it wasn't in the belly. Should I read it? Yeah, read it. Right. It wasn't in the belly. It what, what, wasn't. Where did he punch him? In, in, in the head? Oh, on the chest. On the chest. Yes, it doesn't yes. say the belly. Knock the wind out of him. All By right. Allah, he doesn't say the belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't lie about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, it was slightly above the belly. Oh, my, my, slightly. My, my bad. Oh, so my bad. Right. Slightly above so, the belly. No, don't lie. Sahih, 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 Sahih Muslim, age yeah, yeah, 28. Go to the, go, go to when the messenger of Allah saw no, no, how go to I was affected. You don't have to read. I'm reading it. When the messenger of Allah saw how I was affected, put in brackets by the wrong idea, he struck my chest, whereupon struck. Listen. I broke into sweating and felt as though I was looking at Allah Did he say, with did he say, did he say how, hurt how, me? How did hard, he say hurt me? How hard? So if I did punch he say somebody... Hurt me? No. Did he say hurt me? Right. Struck. No, so, let me say. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If no. you hit me so hard, no, then I break no, no. out into a sweat. No, no, lame, 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 lame. What have you done to me? Okay, okay. First of all, first of all, really? first of all, no, 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 brother, no, no. Okay. brother, brother, Fair brother, brother, brother. Barakallah, we'll talk later. Barakallah. First of all, I don't know about that, man. Uh, uh, how how can someone? So you're talking to a dude, and then he touches your chest, and you're shocked by it. No, listen, you feel listen, listen, listen. Brother, brother. I don't know, man. He hit him hard. Listen, he said it hit him. In the hadith, it doesn't say he hit him hard. It says he struck, struck and he hit. Struck, That's anonymous. He struck my chest. Okay. If he hit him so hard, did he fly about a meter or something? No. But why? Muhammad isn't that strong. Uh, Muhammad is not that strong. He ain't that strong. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah is not that strong. one time he wrestled a guy, but that was not momentary. Listen, listen. Muhammad is not that strong, but that's not our problem. Is that's Muhammad not... Samson? No. You, you know Samson, not... yeah? Oh, the Bible. Samson, the one that killed the thousand yeah, is, is, is that... Palestinians with the bones. Is, is, that, is that Muhammad? No, is that Samson? Yeah, it's with Muhammad. Is, that, is that, it really Samson? Yes. Let me tell you one thing about that. You know, if them 10,000 Philistines wait, would wait, have wait. spat on him. Wait, wait, no, so wait. I'll give you an example. Remain. Example. Ah, no, right. don't give me an he, example. He, that, that, he, he ain't that strong. That, 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 don't give me an example that is irrelevant. Well, that, Muhammad hit a guy because, so hard because, that he because broke Samson, his foot. Because Samson did not kill 10,000 people with a donkey's bone. If I strike you, what have I done to you? Listen, listen, let me, let me. I, I didn't Rahim, no, no. You Can that be a strike? Where did he yeah. say listen, I he broke out You're conversing with me. Say You're conversing with me. I'm, I'm talking to both of you. You see, no, no. You are with me, not with him. Well, I'm a you are with so me. So I, I should him. ignore him? Yeah, ignore him. Right, I'm talking to all you, so. Yeah, ignore him. Are you okay with that? All right. Yeah, it's fine with it. Let's see uh, if what David says is true. The Messenger of Allah, this is in Sahih Muslim 820a. The Messenger of Allah asked them to recite, and so they recited. And the Messenger of Allah expressed approval of their affairs, the modes of recitation in brackets, and there occurred in my mind a sort of denial which did not occur even during the days of ignorance. When the Messenger of Allah saw how I was affected by a wrong idea, he struck my chest, whereupon I broke into sweating and felt as though I were looking at Allah with fear. He said to me, Ubay, a message was sent to me to recite the Quran in one dialect. And I replied, make things easier for my people. And it was conveyed to me for the second time that it should be recited in two dialects. He then goes on to say it should be actually recited in many dialects, uh, seven, and that's totally fine, so don't worry about it. So this hadith is basically saying how two different people, Ubay and someone else, who were reciting the Quran differently, because there are differences in the Quranic materials, to which Muhammad then says, this is okay, don't worry about it. Then Ubay has a thought in his mind saying, presumably, that's pretty dumb, how could there be multiple Qurans? <laughs> to which then, Muhammad, seeing his expression, or somehow having revelation maybe, sees what he thinks, turns around to him, and then gives him the most almighty epic punch straight into his belly. Oh wait, sorry, 
not belly, chest. So as you can see, I've already been refuted, and so has David, because it was his chest, not his belly. Yes, that's, uh, that's really what they went with. <laughs> <sighs> I, I really don't know, uh, like, how, how obviously, how obviously dumb is that, right? Like, you're losing an argument, so you have to get nitpicky, that nitpicky, that, and keep in mind, David is reciting this from memory, like, he's memorizing Quranic, like, like, Hadith material, right? He's memorizing Hadiths, and they're complaining that he said belly instead of chest, because evidently, there's a whole different ball game if he's punching him in his belly. Like, that would be too low. That would be not befitting for the... <laughs> that wouldn't be befitting for Muhammad to hit him in the belly. But the chest, oh, that's fine, you know. No worries. Totally different thing. Notice as well that this sheikh, I think he's a sheikh, who he's having this dialogue with, is trying to explain <laughs> how the Arabic says struck, and struck is not synonymous with hit. They're, they're totally different things. Let's go check that out. We can literally go to Google, and we can literally say, define what it means Let's have a look at the very first, <laughs> the very first definition. Verb, hit forcibly and deliberately with one's hand or a weapon or another implement. So yes, uh, to strike someone is actually synonymous with hitting them. Keep in mind, we can actually do this the other way around. We can look at hit and see what hit is defined as. Verb, bring one's hand or a tool or weapon into contact with someone or something quickly and forcefully. Yep, so on that definition, Muhammad did hit him. Let's keep reading. Noun, an instance of striking or being struck. Huh, that's interesting. They used the word strike when they were defining what it means to hit something. How interesting. Two, another noun, an instance of striking the target aimed at. Ah, again, striking. So hitting is an instance of striking. Okay. <laughs> so whenever the word strike is used, like 434, where it says that, you know, you can strike women in certain situations, or when Aisha was struck, again, that's past tense, but I don't think that changes anything. It's evident that this is synonymous with hitting someone. And given that he breaks out into sweats and thinks he's just seen Allah, and keep in mind, you actually looking at the text, Muhammad hasn't even told Ubay why he's hit him. So he has no idea why he's done this. So when it immediately describes after he's hit him, I've broken out into sweats. I now am so fearful it's like seeing Allah. It's only after that that he explains, this is why I hit you. So in other words, it couldn't be because he himself had figured it out. It's obvious immediate reaction to being one punched halfway across the Arabian desert, <laughs> breaking out into sweats and feeling as if Allah is, you know, you are looking upon Allah with fear. Then Muhammad explains, this is why I hit you. And you can see in the video, they try and laugh about it like, ah, you know, we got you, you said belly, it's not belly, it's chest, and therefore you're refuted. But it's just the Dawa tactics, there's uh, just a little bit of semantic playing, not really addressing the point. And again, it's just to get David off of the topic of talking about crown preservation, because talking about crown preservation is sort of trying to explain to someone how you can make a chocolate teacup and it's a totally good idea. It's not, it won't hold water, there will be holes, or in, in this case, it will just melt, but you know, it's a very dumb idea. It's because of videos like this that we know the Dawa script is gone. The Dawa script is just, just in tatters, pretty much. There isn't much people can do to solve it, or to help it, or to resurrect it. It is a done thing. Dawa is done at Speaker's Corner. There is pretty much no attempt to engage in dialogue with anyone who isn't a first-timer, or a visitor, or someone who's a new Christian, who's also alone, or can be isolated. So it's just predatory tactics at this point. But uh, yeah, thank God that's not what the Christians are doing. The Christians don't have a blacklist of people not to speak to. The Christians are open to speak to anyone. The Christians love debate and dialogue at Speaker's Corner, not just with Muslims, but with all groups, because we're confident in the message that we present. And I think that ultimately, you know, that Sheikh, he needs to come to Jesus because, you know, Muhammad isn't doing much for him. Neither is the Quran. But anyway, God bless you all. Come to Jesus Christ if you have not already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. God bless.